Way to go, Catman. So, we got a fight today or what? We got it. You serious? I am. You gotta be bullshitting me. I ain't wizard. Typhoon is ours. How the crap did you manage that? We're just lucky. Amazing, Shado! I found a strand of fur in my cereal this morning. Black as night fur. Mm. What? The crap was that face? Do that again. What? I think I know where the cat is. That grumpy old pig dog, he'll never find it. He's blind as a bat. He can't tell me from the bathroom's trash can. What was that? None of your business, old Pete. One of these days. One of these days you'll get a one-way trip to Hog's Yard, Muggle. Been there. Done that. I know my way back. Thanks so much for this, dude. I'll do my best to win this fight. You seriously got us that fight? Sure. That's unbelievable. Every pilot on the planet is in line to fight Typhoon. You're amazing, Shado.
I found a strand of fur in my cereal this morning. Black as night fur. What? The crap was that face? Do that again. What? Also, did you get rid of that cat yet? You better not be playing me, cat man. Hey, pal. You hungry? There you go. Oh, guess not. Is someone else feeding you already? I just got a call from the arena. It's all set. Gotta say I'm impressed, Catman. That was really amazing, dude. I can't wait to fight Typhoon. You're welcome. So, what did you do? I mean, this crap is legal, right? Damn right it is, wizard. I'll buy the book. I sure hope so. I'll focus on getting Cowboy ready. I bet Uncle Knife is gonna make it to the news with this one. Yeah! Bring the spotlights! I am ready! She's got a point, Pineapples. You better get used to it. Don't worry, dude. Years of hardship honed this body in mind. That's what I wanted to hear. Now come on, you lazy bums. Let's get ready to hit the road. I just hope you're not digging deeper than I already have. But you know what I mean. Can't solve a problem by creating another. Keep that in mind, Catman. I watched St. Sailor Sayori's whole four seasons. It's about a group of high school girls that become giant robots to fight a menacing three-headed cucumber. It makes no sense at all. Also, fighting vegetables might set a bad example for kids. I'm just trying to imagine a three-headed cucumber. It's like a lizard, but very ugly and weird. That's not a cucumber at all. It's a zygomorph. It's an alien breed. Looks like a cucumber to me. I don't really care much about fame, dude. It's nice to see everyone so excited for that. You're gonna be a star, donkey. Cowboy will be all over the news tonight. My friends are going crazy back home. Uncle Knife is gonna be famous for sure. Not a busy night for Cowboy and his troop. Jack won't join us tonight. He's preparing for his biggest fight yet. Impressive work, Mr. Manager. I couldn't do better myself. But don't get too cocky. Jack's next opponent is nothing short of a legend. We're coming for you. Make yourself fit. Hmm. You're that guy. I saw you running errands for that old lady. Apparently for everyone in town. So, what's up with you? Ex-convict? It's okay. I respect a person's will to leave the past behind. Say, uh, I'm in need of delivery service. Are you available? I guess so. You guess? 
Why is that? Got something better to do? No, ma'am. You can call me Sai. Just pick up the orders in the back. I'll hook you up with the addresses. Make sure my products get there in time. And don't play dumb with me. If you manage this simple task, we won't have any problems. That clear? Sure is. Great. Have a wonderful day, mister. And come back often. Hi, gangster man. Neb told me Cowboy is gonna bust that weirdo out of space tonight. I love giant robots. I've watched every anime and television show ever. But I couldn't believe you were hiding an 80 meter tall robot in this puddle of a city. Man, this is so damn cool. I'll be rooting for you guys. Go, cowboy! You guys better win tonight. Here we go again. Are you guys chasing some kind of stardom? Or are you some sort of masochists? Either way, it's my duty to make sure your pilot comes back alive, so keep it coming. folks. Let's call the witch and the pig, and we're gonna have a party. Okay, people, it's witch time. As always, Annie Z coming in with the last minute goods. Let's get this show on the road. I got some news for you.
this is gonna be huge. Imagine how many people will be watching this fight. Doesn't matter. What? They'll be broadcasting worldwide. You better kick his pee, donkey. What's up? It's nothing, dude. I'm concerned about Uncle Knife. He looks a bit worried tonight. Maybe I should stop drinking his tea? Hurry up, son. We're gonna be late. I'm seeing too much of this witch these days. I'm surprised my eyes didn't fall out yet. They're trying. Unfortunately, they're stuck in this mess you call a fix. How rude! Your eyes tried to flee once, but they got lost in the desert. Oh wait, that's your wrinkled face. Have you ever tried to eye in it? I'll iron your stupid butt. Ooh, I'll get the oil ready. Uh, oh, I, I don't know what I just said. Hey, I'm with Aunt Zizi. Hey, I'm a little worried about the kid. You know, Knife, you won for the fun part. But I wonder how things will work out when the shit starts to get serious. You may have a point. Also, I don't want to burden him with my problems. Too late for that, wizard. What's up? It's nothing, dude. About time, I was starting to fall asleep here. Just give me a sec. I gotta take a power piss. You're disgusting. I'm a pig! All right, folks. Who's ready for the hog ride? When you turn my age, you'll be a bunch of sad, lonely old geese. You wait for your grandsons and granddaughters for days at your rest home just to get a pack of instant noodles and cheap soap. Some kid from a school field trip will ask, why don't you resemble a human being anymore? And it's all because you lack the humor. Shut up and drive, pig. And here's the living example. Ouch, ouch! Hey, I'm gonna crash! Crazy old hag! Drive. You gonna be all right out there, kiddo? Don't worry, dude. Years of hardship holding my body and mind. This reminds me of our first fight. Hell, feels like it happened years ago. We've come a long way, didn't we? Sure as hell, kiddo. I'm gonna win this one for us tonight. You can bet on that. You'll get your mother back in no time. I won't let you down. Right, kid. Just don't let it get to you. Be careful. It's your life on the line. Focus on your fight. I will. I'll take this seriously from now on. Listen up, cowboy. We ain't fighting just for fun anymore. Lives are on the line. We gotta do it right. There's no more room for stupid mistakes. No matter what happens, we have to win this fight. Ugh, this shit is too much for me. Why do I gotta do this? You okay, dude? Of course I'm not. I shouldn't be here. Ugh, mind your own business. Let's just get this over with.
Hey, I used to listen to your band. I'm a huge fan. Really? Are you? That shit is total crap. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, right. We rock. All right. Who came up with that band's name? It's awesome. Also, that music video with people with trash bags is crazy, dude. Uh, yeah. I'm glad you like that. I knew this shit wouldn't end well. Serves them right. I said I couldn't do it. Let's just end this and go about our ways, all right? Uh, talk about a stupid plan. I ain't fighting for fun anymore. We gotta climb those ranks. But is this the right way to go about it? What do you think, cowboy? I get why you like this place, dude. It's quiet out here. The wind feels good. What's up, pineapples? I've been thinking a lot. I've always looked up to you guys. Duke, GW, you, especially you. You were my hero back then. I wanted to be cool like you, man. I don't know if I'm cut out for this. I guess I don't like being the one people rely on. I'm the cool uncle, you know? I show up on the weekends, everybody has a blast, and then I go back to where I was. I don't have a strong will. That drive that makes a champion. I've been thinking about what National said. I don't care about winning. I don't have any desires or passions. I like piloting, but I don't care about being the best pilot in the world or any of that. I just do it because it's fun, you know? But I realized today I can't keep living like this anymore. I should take this seriously. This is about winning that cash, stepping up. Fuck you, man. Who needs another me, or GW, or Duke? We act all cool, but we're just a bunch of assholes and selfish kids trying to impress an invisible crowd. I'm so stuck up my ass, I'd never be half the man you are. The things you say, the way you act, I could never do it the way you do, and not because I don't want to. Even so, I feel like a puppet, doing stuff without a will of my own. Oh, you think I know what the hell I'm doing? I don't have a clue. In fact, I've been jealous of you. You got to be the hero of this story. You're the one rolling the punches. You're Neb's best friend. Me? 
I'm the guy in the background, running errands, making stupid, dirty shit, avoiding every chance to say what I should. But I finally understood. It had to be you. No one else is fit to pilot that robot, because you're the one who's having the most fun. You don't do it for cash, you don't do it for GW or Duke. The only reason you do it is because you're having a blast. That's the only true reason you need to do anything. You're a true mecha pilot. I don't mind keeping that stupid giant piece of crap running, regardless of Duke's rants. Hey! As long as you keep having fun. Reason is not a priority for any of us. Duke's always complaining about his situation, his mother and shit. But he's enjoying the ride. He sure feels guilty about it, but I've never seen him so fucking happy. Truth is, you're the only one who's got the balls to say what you're thinking and live by it. We're old time friends having a blast. Not because we're running away, not for some lame excuse that got us together. It's because we enjoy being with each other, dude. Something like that. Also, I've been meaning to ask you something. Ask away. What's with all this dude talk? Oh, that. Well, my nieces always crack a laugh when they hear the word. So I decided to make it a habit. Something like that, dude. You're a fucking choir boy. Hey, remember the Dead Motherfuckers Society? Why dig up that shit now? Because it feels like we're back together for real now. Even without GW. Back then, I was just in for the ride. I know robbing a bank is something that shouldn't be taken lightly. But I didn't care as much about that. As long as I could hang out with you guys. You're a crazy bastard. Maybe. I've learned from the best. Get your ass back to the party. Everyone's waiting for you. Shade? We're gonna win this shit, dude. I know it feels impossible, but... I'm gonna be the best pilot in the world. That's it. Who's feeding the crappy cat? The little bastard isn't budging. I looked everywhere for it. It's oh. driving me crazy. Chill out, wizard. It's just a little cat. For you, maybe. But it keeps turning my senses on. I can barely sleep anymore. This is about animal instinct, cat man. Oh. I can't ignore this crap. I'll handle it. Good. So you'll take it far away from here, right? Rest at ease. I got your back. be messing with me, cat man. I want this cat gone. Even if it's a cute one? I swear I'm gonna kill you, cat man. is quite the annoyance. I've never seen any cats around. Maybe the dog is just going bonkers. There's a cat here. I know it. What a drama queen. What will you do about the cat? It's not going to get hurt, is it? I'd never do that. Don't worry. Hmm. 
I feel kinda lighter today, dude. Thanks for yesterday. Don't mention it. I'm still trying to figure stuff out, though. Oh, maybe I should talk to Z about our cat situation. Murder machine! Murder machine! World record breaker, the ultimate decapitation machine! Killing on sight! Hey man, uh, something just occurred to me. Do you still draw stuff? Sometimes, yeah. Uh, why do you ask? We should write a fanfic. About murder machine! Well, I'll take care of the script, and you draw the pictures. What do you say? Deal? Mm -hmm. Awesome! I knew you were gonna like it. We can make it really bloody. <laughs> Ultra violence! <laughs> murder machine! Ripping someone's limbs off! Won't that make him look like the villain, though? Nah, no, we just make the villain even more bloodthirsty. Like, it rips people in half and sucks their bowels and stuff. <laughs> nice, I can picture that. Oh, it could be a serial killer mech. Oh yeah, now we're talking. We must be on the right track. Look at these lowlifes. They think they stand a chance. <laughs> What's up, man? Nice going. You guys ain't kidding around. We're not. I think your mech alone has placed Rain City on the map. I kinda hope not. Yeah, I get what you mean. This is a cozy town after all.
This ain't good. How so? Do you take pleasure in witnessing Lullaby take down one of our own? First of all, we didn't see shit. I'd be lady happy bunny hopping if we did. We just got confirmation we're on the right track. How so? How can you be so certain it was Lullaby? Did you know the guys? The ones who got killed? No. I do. They were known as Ricochet, a family of hunters and professional killers. They'd been in the game for a good 30 years. Veterans. Yeah. We're talking about experienced hunters. Not like these douches around here. Those guys were mafia. And so, Lullaby killed them? The whole gang? All by herself? Seems like it. I had a good look at the scene. There were 21 people present. 17 hunters, three snipers in different positions almost a mile away from each other. All dead. Killed by the same person. Who else could have done that? And me. A cat? So, Killer Hound is having some issues with the little one. Sounds like him, all right. Sure, I got space, as you can see. I won't mind it. Thanks, Z. No problem, darling. You'll need one of those transport boxes. Do you happen to have one around? Sorry, darling. Maybe you can find one at that convenience store. I see. Thanks for the help, Z. You're always welcome, darling. was awesome. Thanks. Oh, I'm your number one fan right now. I want a selfie with Knife. Just drop by our place any sec. He'd be happy to give you one. All right. So, came in for some goods? Do you happen to have a cat transport box thing? Hmm. I guess I know what you're talking about, but this ain't a pet shop. Well, I tried. I guess I'll figure that out tomorrow.
Please grant me the opportunity to face you on a battlefield. Are you serious? Yeah, I can't wait. Your fight yesterday, I'm obsessing about it. I can't ignore it any longer. The hell is going on? We just got a chance to go all the way up to rank 42. I'm challenging your pilot for a fight in two days. My Gallo 01 versus your Gallo 07. You've proven your worth. There's no one I want to face more than you guys in the Cowboy. Oh, we're in, dude. Right on, Uncle Knight. I didn't expect any less from you. Not after what I saw last night. You're an interesting pilot. You seem to become someone completely different when piloting. Somehow, you remind me of Guy Lee. Though today, that resemblance is gone. This is gonna be a historic fight. Don't keep me waiting. Huh. Well, that was unexpected. Then again, another crappy schedule. Damn, I really wanna fight that guy. That's my boy! I feel kinda lighter today, dude. Thanks for yesterday. Don't mention it. I'm still trying to figure stuff out, though.
All right, I'm gonna hit the sack. You deal with that damn cat tonight, cat man. I won't last one more week under these circumstances. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. There you are. How have you been doing? So, you're the one feeding it. Don't worry, I won't tell. I spoke to Z. I just need a transport box and she'll take care of it. Punko. Hmm? That's her name. I found her by an alley nearby. I just couldn't leave her there. Punko? Yes. The name just popped out of the blue in my head, as if she was telling me by telepathy. It has a nice ring to it. Can we keep her? I've been taking really good care of her until now. I'll even start working with Kala to pay for her needs. Wizard's gonna be a pain in the ass. Pretty please? That's gonna be war. You can always visit her at Z's. I see. Maybe I should talk to Duke? I guess you could try. I won't be able to butt in, though. That'd make things worse. Leave it up to me. Tonight, the UGG Ultimate Golden God Mech Worldwide Championship has been called off. Due to the recent oil crisis, the USNA government decided to remove all financial incentives from the competition. Mech fuel supplies are being confiscated and redirected for essential and emergency services only. Strikes and riots are flooding into the streets. In an interview, Canyon Bolt, a veteran pilot ranked fourth by the UGG Commission, affirmed mech pilots everywhere are very unhappy with the government's decision and that entertainment is a necessary stress relief in these dire times. Without the government's support, many mech arenas are in danger of closing their doors.